Okay, this is a quick walkthrough on how to use uh, tight VNC with your PSP with PSP VNC installed. So I've already showed you the PSP side of it. Now I'm going to show you the server side how to configure the server side. So uh, once you've got um, tight VNC installed, uh, just double click on the launcher server and it'll bring it up um, down the bottom right hand corner. Now make sure you have a static IP address um, on your machine, or else uh, sometimes you can get run into errors if you're going to try and access your computer from an access point somewhere else in the world. So um, make sure you go to properties there. Uh, make sure you put a password on your uh, top VNC server so um, when you connect uh, you need authorization for the password. Okay, make, make sure that you also have um, you have a look through your settings, um, what type of um, drives and that kind of stuff you want to use, uh, what type of area you want to um, utilize through your PSP VNC viewer. Um, let's go full desktop and now it's pretty much how, that's how much you got to configure on your tight VCNC, VNC server end. Okay, so you go cancel there. but you also got to set up um, port forwarding on your router so, so you can access your computer from anywhere in the world. Okay, I've already got up here. Um, see, I've uh, on the down the bottom you can see that um, that's my IP address on my computer, and I've uh, port forwarded all these ports. Um, pretty much, uh, if you go to uh, www.portforward.com, it will show you for each router uh, what ports to forward and how to port forward on your actual router itself. But um, one here is I've got a data link. So it's got a virtual server, port forwarding, bang. And I can add, remove, modify. So I just say add one now. You use define, so you want to go um, tight uh, VNC4. This is just making one up. And then you want to just say you change the ports and values, so you want to put it out on port 4, 460, um, end port 460, 460. And then 416, just go OK. And then you make sure you got to make sure you put the uh, IP address that your LAN is on. So when you port forward, you can access your computer from the. Okay, so you start with uh, turning your PSP on. Get it loading up. Okay, so now we go to uh, our network connections. Into there. Infrastructure mode, this is for your wireless at this point in your own house. Select it and then you go, um, you can either scan or um, I've already selected my own access point. Um, as you can see back here, whatever one you want there, you just go yep on that one. And do manual, SSID, keep it the one that it is there. Um, security, I've got no security just for testing, I'll show you here. Um, Address setting, custom, manual, and then you go put IP address in. So make sure you get to have this IP address configured manually if you're going to use um, a, P, uh, a VNC program on your PSP next to your desktop home computer. So yep, use all your settings in there. Do not use, uh, do not start. Yep, da da, all the same. Now I press uh, save there, but um, I won't worry about that. So. Exit there, back, and now we go across to uh, memory stick, uh, and down to our portable VNC program. Actually, uh, while slant switch is turned on up there, and you select the program. Yep, yeah, connect that network. Let's get your Wi-Fi connected. I'll give you um, DHCP if you want to have DHCP enabled, but I wouldn't. And then you just go static, and then you choose what computer you want to use. I'm going to edit this one because I've changed the IP address on my laptop. Change that. Go along. The number L L and R buttons change your um, numbers, the keypads, and that kind of stuff. So I want to change that to and use your analog stick to move the buttons. I'm going to change that to three. So I click um, triangle, X, square, and zero correspond to top, left, right, and bottom on the keypad. So three, you can get down, unnamed, yep. And then pick the host icon, which is Windows. And ask you for a password to get into the computer. Now you can have a password, whatever you want, but I'll just uh, end my password in there.
go. Now, I've seen my password and it simply comes straight up to your desktop computer. So now you can browse your whole computer. I've got a vista here so you can browse everything you want to do, whatever you want to do. Um, easy, you can use the um, analog keypad or you can use the digital keypad, whatever you want. Now if you press um, you go along, you can check whatever you want. So, I've got in my PSP downloads. Click on that. And then, and then my uh, the website pops up. So you can uh, surf your internet, do whatever, change your um, uh, programs down here in the bottom left hand corner. Sorry, bottom right hand corner. You pretty much everything you can do on a normal computer except it's um, vnc in there from your uh, little PSP. And you press uh, left shoulder and right shoulder plus start. It'll bring up the options. You can put the virtual keyboard, game mode, um, mouse mode, all these other options you can do on there. So, so it's awesome, but I'll just uh, disconnect now. Disconnect. You can do whatever you want to there. You can choose options and all that kind of stuff there. And you press control it, start once, and then you can uh, quit there. So that's a pretty much a uh, straightforward uh, go on uh, PSP VNC program. Now I'll just show you the uh, desktop um, selection of it.